So I have problem A7, and you're given a rectangle, and they give you two pieces of information about it. They give you that the perimeter, in my case, was equal to 18, and they give you the length of the diagonal that splits the rectangle into two triangles, and my length of that is 8, and then they ask you to find the area. Uh, so the first thing I noticed is you can set up uh, two equations from it. You have the perimeter, uh, and you know, so you can figure out the perimeter equation. So I set my width equal to x and my length equal to y, so that's where those variables came from. And then, so 2x plus 2y is obviously going to equal 18, because that's the perimeter. And then, so I solved uh, for x, and I got a nice, uh, really nice just 9 minus y for x. And then the second equation you have uh, is the Pythagorean theorem, uh, because you know the length of the hypotenuse of both of the triangles. So you can take x squared plus y squared equals 8 squared, and then you can just plug in what you got for x here into your Pythagorean theorem equation. Uh, and then you end up getting, uh, if you use the quadratic formula, if yours is a factor, uh, you end up getting that y uh, is equal to 9 plus or minus 47 over 2. Now, I've just taken the plus one. Uh, first off, just because uh, I know that my y has to be greater than my x, so I took the plus one just to make it as long uh, as possible. Uh, but I don't know for sure yet that that's, that's what I want to do, so I'm going to take that and plug it back into x and see what I get for x first. Uh, so after doing that, I get, uh, you have to find a common denominator with the 9 minus y, 18 over 2 minus what do you got for y. You get 9 minus the square root of 47 over 2. So uh, in actuality, it doesn't really, really matter. You want the y to be the longer one, so that's why you make this one plus, and that one's going to end up being minus, the exact opposite of what this one is uh, in terms of the square root of 47. So um, that's why I took the plus one here, and that's why that one ended up being minus. And then now that you have both x and y, you can just plug it into the area equation, which is obviously just going to be base times height, x times y. Uh, so you plug that in, um, your 9 square roots of 47 are going to cancel out, and then you're left with 81 minus 47 over 4, and then I got 34 over 4, or 8.5.